Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I wanted to briefly take a couple minutes today to show you some changes made to the new Retro Arena RC 5.21 for the Odroid Go Super. I went the wrong way, here we go. First thing here, plug in some internet. Since we have the USB-A port, I find that 5G works much, much better than 2.4. So here's the OTA updater. Takes about 10 maybe seconds, 10, 12 seconds to load up because it's reading the Git and getting the information. So it is normal that it takes a few seconds. And should be any time. There we go. Whenever there's an update, it'll appear here. This is currently just a test, obviously. There's nothing to download, but it'll say update 1, update 2. Generally speaking, I'm going to try to keep them all in one big update so you can get everything as an all-in-one file. It won't do any harm anyway. I've replaced the file manager with this file manager because it does images and uh, allows you to edit text files. We've still got Ports Master here. Resize SD is just for if some random reason your SD doesn't expand on first boot, you can use that and it'll recreate the process and fix it for you. Give you a quick look at Ports Master here. There's been some additions since the previous video. Moonlight functionality has also been restored, which I will show you in a moment. As you can see, there's quite a number of things here. The majority of this is actually thanks to Christian Haitian. So let's install Moonlight real quick. It is quick, too. It's not a long process. When you download the image, it'll already be there for you, but you're still going to have to and put the server information in. You'll see what I mean here in a second. I'll show you. If I can remember where it is. Uh, ports, I think. Also, be sure to run cor correct permissions. Otherwise, you might not uh, be able to launch something after you install it. All right, now I don't remember if it's in the menu or ports. It's in one of the two. I guess we'll find out together. Mm, I don't think it's in its own heading. I think it's in ports. Double check that. Yeah, it's for sure in ports. Yeah, there we go. So as I said, you're going to have to configure your IP address. Fortunately, I happen to, oops, happen to know mine by heart, so it's not going to be that difficult. There we go. Give me a moment here. should do it there we go all right so now I can open moonlight oh you're gonna see the background of my PC where I'm actually compiling the latest retro arch takes steam a second to open but then then we'll be in steam and we'll be able to the controls and everything are working. I've already tested all that. I'm just showing you guys. I'll give you a look in a moment. There we go. As you can see, I can move around. Here, check it out. There's the TV screen here. Moving around with the Odroid Go Advance, or Super, I should say. Well, the Advance would work too, but the screen would be really small and not really worth using. After you go ahead and stop remote play, just use Select and Start to exit the application immediately. It'll close on your PC after a few seconds also. 
quick look at the ports that are already installed here. You do have to provide your own game files for some of them because I do not distribute copyright content. Never have, never will. RetroArch is being updated as we speak. If everything goes successful, I will be able to release that as update one. So keep your eyes peeled for that over the next couple of days. And I think that's going to about do it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.